Hey guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 28 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to set up Canary release within API Gateway. So before we move on, I would like to highlight that in this tutorial, we will be using stage variables. So in that case, if you want to understand more on stage variables or how you can integrate it with the API Gateway, then please refer part 18 and part 19 of this tutorial series. I have mentioned the links in the video description. So now moving along. So basically to keep it simple, Canary release is similar to AB testing. So let's try to understand the Canary release by an example. So now, for example, as you can see on my screen, I have the API deployed as a prod and hundred percent of the traffic is hitting that API, right? So now, you have come up with or I have come up with a new set of features or new changes and we want to test it live with a small set of users without affecting the larger audience, right? So how we can do that? So in that case, we can use canary release settings within API gateway, right? So as I mentioned, I want to test some feature that is the part of the version two dev with smaller set of audience, right? So here I have hundred percent of traffic on this API that is being served by this backend, right? Now I want to serve 20% of the traffic via this backend that is version two dev, right? So I want to make it some sort of 80, 20, for example, right? And I want to integrate this dev lambda function again with this resource. So it should be something like this. Right. So how we can achieve this? So the very first thing is that we will be using stage variables to invoke certain backend. That is the lambda function, right? And we will define the stage variables within uh, Kennedy settings. Right. So at this point of time, everything might sound confusing, right? But you will get the clear idea once we start with the implementation step by step. Correct. So apart from that, as I said, we can certainly divide the traffic via Canary release configuration within API gateway. And in a Canary release deployment, total API traffic is separated at random, right? So for example, if I say 50% and 50%, Right. So it's not going to be like, uh, that one user will be served via prod and another user will be served via dev. Right. So the first request will be forwarded to prod and second request will be forwarded to dev. Right. So it's going to be random. Right. So that's something I wanted to highlight. So now let's get started. So we will start with the creation of the Lambda function. We will publish the version of that Lambda function as version one. And then we will attach the alias that is prod within that Lambda function. And then we will go ahead with the configuration of the API gateway, right? So the very first thing that we are going to do is to create the Lambda function. So navigate to Lambda management console and click on create function from the top right corner. Give the function name. I will say canary release Lambda. I will select runtime as Python 3.8 within permission. I will choose an existing role that is Lambda API gateway role and we will say create function. Now, once the function is created, we will modify the response. We will say hello from prod instead of hello from Lambda. And we will save this Lambda function. Also, we will say print event in case if we want to check something. Right. And once the configuration for the prod is done, we will click on action. We will say publish a new version. Go to description. I will say prod and I will say publish. Now, once the Lambda function is published, we will create the alias of this version. So click on action again, say create alias, give it a name. I will say prod alias 
and select the version. So it's version one in my case, and I will save this. Now we have successfully created the alias of the version one that is prod basically. Now we will go back to API gateway. So here I have this API. So you can open an existing API or you can go ahead and create the new API endpoint, right? But once you are within that API endpoint, click on resources from the left panel, say actions, say create resource. So we will create the same resource. I will say get data and I will say create resource. Now, once the resource is created, we will go ahead and click on action again and we will say create method. So here we will define the get method. So select get and click on the stick mark. Now it will ask us for integration, right? So we will say use Lambda proxy integration and within Lambda function, we will give a function name that is canary rel lambda that is canary release lambda let me copy this and we will paste it over here followed by the alias name so it's going to be the lambda function name colon followed by alias name so we will fetch the alias name via stage variable so i will say dollar curly braces stage variables variables dot the stage variable name so it can be anything so i will simply say version right or it can be anything whatever you want to define uh, you can mention that variable name right but stage variables are standard followed by the version right and once this is done click on save now here it is asking us to add permission to lambda function right so this command we need to execute it from the aws cli right so i'm going to copy this and navigate to the AWS CLI. So I have this EC2 instance configured with the AWS CLI, right? So I am going to paste that command over here. Now make sure before executing that command that you replace the stage variable dot version with the alias name. Now in my case, the alias name is going to be prod, right? But again, when we go ahead and create the uh, dev version or the dev alias, we need to come back here and add the permission for the same, right? So replace that stage variable with the alias name. So I will say prod and say enter. So as you can see, the permission is successfully added and we have the statement uh, looking something like this, right? Now, once this is done, click on OK and it will be saved right so i think we are done with the configuration of the resources now we will click on action we will say deploy api select the deployment stage so i will say new stage and i will simply say prod and say deploy now once this is done we need to configure the stage variables so click on stage variables and we will say add stage variable. So what was the variable name that we had defined? That is version, right? And what value or which alias we want to call? So that is prod in this case, at this point of time, click on this tick mark, right? Now, once the stage variable configuration is done, we can go ahead and try to invoke this API endpoint. So let me copy this. I will use postman. I will paste it over here. It's get data, the resource name, right? And I will say send and it should return hello from prod. And as you can see, we have the outcome saying hello from prod. It means uh, everything is set up successfully and we have some uh, base or the prod stage deployed, right? Now the next step is to create the dev alias of the Lambda function. So we will go back to Lambda management console, right? Click on this alias and select latest version. Now we will modify this Lambda function again and we will say hello from dev instead of hello from prod, right? And save this Lambda function. Now click on action, say publish a new version, say dev as a version description, say publish. Now we will create the alias of this version two. So again, click on action, say create alias, give it a name. I will say dev 
select the appropriate version so that's going to be 2 and we will say save now we have another alias of this lambda function that is canary release lambda dev right but if you remember then we again need to add that permission right so we will go back over here we will execute the same command but instead of prod as an alias it's going to be the dev so let me do this dev and we will say enter now again the permission is added successfully right now we will go back to api gateway and as a next step we are going to configure the canary release so click on stages from the left panel select the deployment stage so that is prod in my case and click on canary that is the very last option and we will say create canary now here as you can see the very first thing that is canary stage variables so this stage variable is inherited from the stage variables right so that's the reason uh, you are seeing this version and the prod as the stage variables and its value right now here we have the stage request distribution right so how you want to split the traffic so for now i will say send 50 percent to dev and 50 percent to prod right and i will say click on this tick mark so you can play around with this uh, splitting of the traffic or the distribution right so it can be 80 20 or 70 30 whatever you want right and once you are done with this configuration click on resources again so we need to redeploy this api now so click on action say deploy api so this is the crucial state uh, make sure you select the deployment stage as the prod that is in the braces canary enabled right so you need to make sure that whenever you are releasing or you are deploying the dev or the new feature thing right and you want to test it on certain part of the audience then you need to select the deployment stage which is canary enabled right so select prod canary enabled and say deploy now once the deployment is done and as we know that 50% of the traffic will be served by the canary release that is the dev alias of the lambda function and 50% of the traffic will be served by the prod release so that's going to be the prod alias of the lambda function in the backend right so now for example the request comes in and we had set up this stage variable that is version prod right so now api gateway or api endpoint decides to serve that request via prod release then it will pass on this prod variable to the method and the relevant backend will be invoked right now for example another request comes in and api gateway decides or api endpoint decides to serve that request via canary release then it will require some value to invoke the appropriate backend right so in that case we need to configure this canary override value so we are going to click on this pencil mark and we will say dev now in that case if api endpoint decide to serve that request via canary release then it will pick up this as the value of the stage variable that is dev and it will again invoke the appropriate dev alias from the backend right so this is how overall canary release will work now let's go back to the postman and try to invoke this same api endpoint i will simply say send so as you can see now i have the response that is coming from the dev that is from the new feature that is hello from dev now if i click on send again so i have hello from prod again hello from prod prod dev right so the traffic is being splitted on random right so it's not like uh, one request is going to prod and another is going to dev right so it's sort of random right so this is how you can split the traffic by 50 percent and you can test the new feature that you want to deploy so now we want that 100 percent of traffic should be served by this canary release right because we are happy with the metrics and everything is working fine right so how we can push this canary release to the production release right so in that case we can go ahead and 
promote this canary right so we have this option that is promote canary so we can click on that so what it will do is it will update stage with canary's deployment it will update stage with canary stage variable and it will set canary percentage to zero percent right so i can say update now once this is updated as you can see the percentage of request directed to prod has become 100 percent from 50 percent right and within canary stage variables we have this version as stage value dev and canary override value dev right it means the prod thing it means the existing thing is being overridden by the canary release or the canary values right now 100 percent of traffic will be served by the dev lambda function right and if you look at the stage variables again then you will be able to find that here it was the prod value now it has been replaced with the dev right so now if i go back to postman and if i say send then every request will be served or every request will return hello from dev and it will not return hello from prod right so well this is how you can set up the canary release and this is how you can promote the canary so that you can navigate so that you can serve 100 percent of traffic with the new feature request right and once you've done the promotion right once you've done the promote canary you can go ahead and delete this canary and you can say delete right and we are done so well that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial i hope uh, it didn't sound confusing to you right so well that's it and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time